Okay, y'all, so this is part three. So go back to part one and two to catch up. All right, now, um, and what I'm hearing is you have to be adaptable in the face of change, okay? Um, moving forward and releasing what doesn't serve you is what's key at this point, all right? So whether it's a negative emotion, whether it's your own patterns, um, a behavior, whether it's, you know, if you feel like you need to move beyond a connection, still, you're being told that moving forward is what's key, okay? Um, be adaptable in the face of change because life goes in cycles, all right? So, um, and I spoke about in part two, what it is that the feminine of my collective could be facing when it comes down to the lesson that you need to learn. Um, so definitely go back and, and catch that. But the Three of Swords came out, which the broken card, broken heart card was the first card to leave. Okay. And this heartbreak is heartbreak. Okay. So you got to release that pain and embrace your healing. Um, the clouds so your head might be in the clouds um, for the most part you know just kind of replaying what was said the lady card comes out again right that's that divine feminine energy keeps coming through okay um, and again some communication is going to come through so I feel like because you are the empress look at that the tower card comes out um, in the coffin card, it's bringing an ending to something, okay? So, there's certain changes. I don't necessarily, you know, this is not a, a, a physical death, most definitely, but I feel like this is one of these things here where there's an ending um, to a particular um, pattern, okay? Um, within the empress, within the lady, Hmm. She too got on my timer. Ooh. Conclusions are within reach, right? That's what I spoke about. Like something's coming to an end, okay? Um, but this is the end of a cycle here. And what I just heard was, is make it or break it time. All right, make it or break it time. Where are you going to fit in? Tell me about conclusions are within reach. Ooh, the devil. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, right? So whatever the burden is, the ten of wands, whatever is triggering you or making you feel oppressed, or powerless at this moment. Um, something's coming to completion, of course. So you're definitely uh, letting go of something here. It's, you're being helped. Ace of Wands comes out, okay? So be ready. You got to be ready to embark on a new journey. So it just feels like the universe is... is is handing you the wand again and telling you, hey, boom, there's an opportunity for you to create something new. You know, um, new opportunities are always coming to you, even when the plans change, even when uh, the, the cycle shifts, right? There's always new opportunities that are there for you because the universe is abundant and you need to stay inspired, okay? You need to stay passionate. All right, because when people change, okay, you got to remember God stays the same, right? And the promise is real. So you still are obtainable to the promise, regardless of what it may look like in your 3D. Be willing and enthusiastic and take that initiative here to embrace the change. Three of Swords comes out. The pattern or the behavior that seems to keep happening is that you go through this cycle of grief again, okay? What you're being told is to release that. You go through the cycle of heartbreak, you know, 
when it happens or whatever sparks off you feel rejected whatever you go through this period again where it's like oh you feel that pain all over again it's like it's new okay so that experience is what you are being asked to work on and to heal right because it's like again you keep replaying that experience that painful loss or that betrayal or whatever that is that rejection it's like you replay it subconsciously over and over and over again remember if this is a twin flame yeah look at that eight of pentacles you gotta work on that if this is a twin flame what do they do they mirror back to you your wounds and even though if this person did it on purpose or subconsciously, you know, unconsciously, they merit that back to you, right? Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So now you start thinking to yourself like, whew, they're refusing or they're being stubborn or defensive. Then you start thinking, okay, this is another setback. Okay, my efforts aren't going to pay off. Or, again, the, 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 what I dream or what I hope for is not going to manifest, right? But don't worry. Again, like I said, conclusions are within reach. So whatever is happening right now, expect some answers soon. Any questions? Anything else, my spirit team? It's a lot. Okay. I'm hearing to pull from Archangel Michael. So let me see if I see that. That right there. favorable outcome so just start thanking the divine for a favorable outcome for yourself okay thank thank the divine for the beautiful outcome to this situation which is perfect and fair for everyone involved okay a favorable outcome says a situation that you're concerned about has already resolved itself with fairness and justice and you and the other people involved will be pleased with the outcome heaven's ingenuity has devised a plan that's beyond the scope of human imagination you may not see the solution at this moment but trust that it's already in place you're guided to give your worries or angers to archangel michael for there is no need to burden yourself the more that you can let go and allow god to be in charge the faster your favorable outcome will manifest okay it'll go in your favor all right um so yeah, just move into a state of thankfulness, uh, gratefulness, and allow the healing to occur and just really reflect on some things here, especially go deep into where that feeling of rejection may come from or where the grief is coming from. Um, it, it always has something to do with childhood or something, you know, from past relationships, okay? Because again, spirit is pulling us all into a state of where we're mastering self, all right? Especially if you're on a twin flame journey, a healing journey, um, if you're, you know, aligning with your spiritual self and things like that, like this is what's required, especially if you're in a leadership position on top of that and you're leading others, okay? So it's okay, just breathe, all right? Um, you are being supported, the divine has you, and when it gets too tough, just ask your angelic guys to help you, okay? It's a nine one one those all right y'all so i love you guys don't forget to hit the like button peace